the, there's a time for learning and there's a time for action. I'll just do this and then I'll get us into the Facebook group. Um, I want you to just start by tapping gently right on the top of your head. If you're familiar with um, Donna Eden's daily energy routine, this is what we're gonna do because this is gonna be a day when you need some energy. So you, if you have glasses, you might wanna take them off because the next one is to just tap right here, just above the cheekbones, just underneath your eyes. And then here, and then here, this is where we really, really activate the energy. So if you're feeling low energy, might wanna spend a little extra time there. And you can do this, you know, as many times as you want to throughout the day. It's a great thing to do in the morning. And then we'll go right here, just to the side of the breastbone. Awesome, cool. Um, and I, I'm happy to share that link with you guys sometime if you're interested, uh, you know, how see Donna Eden do it. Um, while I'm doing that, uh, while I'm uh, jumping us into the Facebook group, and I'm glad that some of you who sometimes watch it on Facebook, you know, I know that, that sometimes that feels easier, but today it really is going to be more powerful to, to do it here on Zoom if you can. I know some people are at work um, because uh, we're going to, you know, you're going to be able to state your intention with you know, actual people. And if we have a lot of people, if we have a good number of people, we will go into breakout groups. But if it, if it stays small, we'll just do it all together. Looks like we've got a few more people. Good, 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 good. All right, cool. So I just want to, you know, today we're going to roll up your sleeves and get down to business. And we already talked about how to choose a space. Um, if you weren't here that day, just to, you can review the videos in the Facebook group, but keep it short and sweet. We're going to pick a small area. You're going to pick an area that's relatively easy. Uh, after you build up your decluttering muscles, then you can work on some, some more difficult areas. But this is not just about making things look nice. This is, as we talked about in session one, this is about lifting up your energy and the inner reflects the outer. And what I truly want for each and every one of you unique and magnificent beings is for you to step into the highest version of yourself. And I've offered you a taste of what can happen when you, be, when you begin to declutter your space mindfully and have your home support you. You can choose to take these tools and go it on your own, or you can take the road less traveled and invest in yourself and create a home that lifts you up and supports you as you soar. What is the world missing if you continue to be held back by clutter and disorganization? So I'm just gonna share with you briefly the next opportunity, which is to jump into my group course, The Inner Art of Decluttering. That's gonna be limited to between 14 and 16 people. It's gonna be from February 28th to June 13th. And I'll put a um, link in, in the chat and I'm not gonna talk a lot about that, but if it's something that you're interested in, you can either, you can have a look at that link you can also um, schedule a time to talk with me about it. But know that the early bird uh, savings does end on uh, the 14th, tomorrow. So if you're at all interested, have a look at it before then. What we're gonna do today, as I mentioned, is we're gonna have two sessions. So this is our intention setting. And if you haven't had a chance to Look, I posted this morning a little bit about it in the group, but you might not have had a chance to see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you, these are, these are shared with permission, um, some of my students doing their intention okay. settings. Um, so I have this um, pile of files. It's been there for a few years. And when I went one time to 
deal with it. I thought, oh, I can throw away most of this. And I opened it up and it's like, oh no, I really need to keep this. I have no idea where. And I closed it back up and just left it for years, a few years. And um, so I'm going to um, address that, that pile of important, somewhat don't know what to do with um, stuff today. And I'm going to two hours. I'm going to approach my dad, um, and what I mean by that, when I started, as everybody knows, with my closet, which is my altar I bow before for inspiration, um, I took so many things out of it, and I had those things that I'd taken out in my bedroom and in the hallway. Those have been dealt with. Many other things got put into my den surrounding the room. So I'm going in there to um, uh, look at it in the big picture, but um, focus on uh, giveaways and hopefully get all of those out of there and ready to go. And if I have time, I'll open up one of the bins that's there. Um, and I will give myself two hours and uh, get it done. And I emphasize with Kathy on your paper, finding it many years later and still wondering what to do. I know that feeling. <laughs> okay. All right, so I've got one more for you. You've got about another 30 seconds of an example, but I just wanted to highlight, they're keeping it short. They're being very specific, very clear, and it's, it helps to know how much time you're going to devote to it. And if you don't have the whole four hours, which I imagine a lot of you don't, it's absolutely fine. Even if you do half an hour, that's probably more than you do on a regular basis anyway. But if you can do an hour, hour and a half, that's fantastic. So I'm going to give you one more example, and then I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and let you practice setting your intentions. I'm going to be filing. <laughs> and if I get my filing up to date, I will uh, sort my shoes. Two hours, yeah, I won't be able to join the checkout. Um, yeah, I have a box of papers, a bin, and I'm going to go through those. And um, I'm going to do it on my dining room table. <laughs> All right, so um, you get the idea. Um, does anybody have any questions about how to share your intention? Have you already thought about a space? Do you want a little support in that? Or, or are you ready to go? Tennis is ready, ready, ready. <laughs> okay, good. Good, good, good. All right. So um, I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. And if somebody can be a timekeeper and um, just, you know, give each person one minute. And what you're going to be doing is simply stating your intention in positive terms. It's going to happen. And you might share uh, how long you have to work and, you know, what space you'll be working in, which may be evident, you know, according to what you're saying. And those of you on Facebook, um, I will stay with you and um, talk with you a little bit more about how you can do this yourself at home. So hang on for just a minute if you're watching on Facebook. So I believe that I have my Zoom participants um, in the breakout rooms. For those of you who are in Facebook, you have access to lots of things that the people who are in the breakout rooms in the Zoom don't have access to right now. And um, some of those things are guidelines for how to uh, approach your decluttering day um, those of you who haven't had a chance to, who haven't been with us days one, two, and three, you might want to take a little bit of time to listen to some of the recordings. You could also do that while you're sorting and you're going to be just sorting, doing a broad sort, sort like a kindergartner, put on some music, put on some essential oils. I have a doTERRA diffuser going here. I've got a candle lit. Uh, not probably a great day to open windows in most areas of the country, but if you have a ceiling fan or you can do something to move the energy around, go ahead and do that. And remember to have some water because decluttering is thirsty work. And if you need a snack, grab a snack and remember to take breaks. Now, different people find it uh, necessary or helpful to take breaks more frequently. Some people can go for an hour. 
some people prefer 15 or 20 minutes. And if you're planning to spend an hour doing a particular task, you can actually take a piece of paper and write down four 15 minute increments. And then, um, and then just check it off, like set your timer for 15 minutes and you get to check off every time you do 15 minutes. That was a tip for, that came from one of my students um, in the group course. I will see if I am able, the people in the, in the Zoom and the breakout rooms have about two more minutes. So I'm gonna see if I can pop over to Facebook and see who's watching. All right, so uh, I'm gonna work on my kitchen for 1.4 hours. Uh, Alyssa, I'm glad you're using the magic blanket. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to the Zoom and um, in the Facebook group, feel free to share your intention. And then I will be checking in throughout the day and I'll, I'll set up a, um, some, you know, blocks for you to, to share things. Um, remember to take before pictures and you don't have to share them with anyone, but then you'll be able to see your progress. So I'm going to um, go back to the Zoom. I'm going to let the people on the Zoom do some sharing. Um, and I'm probably not going to stream that to Facebook because it, it might be a little private. Um, but so you folks out there in Facebook land, go ye therefore, think about your highest contribution to the world and what objects in your home are going to support you in delivering that, in creating that for yourself. And let me know in the Facebook group if you have any questions.